Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> What's this one like? No! Oh. Give it another way. Dude, it's like, uh, it's like, bro, it's like when I had football pads and I fucking left it in like my trunk or something. It's disgusting. For a day and I took it out and I go, whoa! That's what it smells like. Jesus Christ. That's disgusting. You know, you're, you know, one time, you know, one time, um, oh man. Back when I was in junior high, um, you sweated? I always sweated. I'm a sweater. <laughs> we know this, right? But no, there was this guy uh, that we used to play football with yes, sir. In, in, in junior high. And he always showed up, always rocking the gloves, right? Always rocking the gloves, right? And so I was like, hey, man, let me borrow your gloves. Oh, fuck. No, dude, that's disgusting. I want to borrow your gloves. And you got bro. ringworm at the age of seven. No, no, no. I didn't get ringworm. But man, I took those gloves off. Fuck. I had a fecal matter all over my hands. <laughs> it literally stank like shit. Literally. It stank like literally. Does it smell like how you smell now? No. This it actually smelled like shit? It literally smelled like a turd. Okay. I don't know if he was digging in his asshole for grip or something or so, what. Uh, I used to play goalie. Okay. And I would wash my gloves like every two months. Yeah. Because they're fucking, it's a pain in the ass to wash. So every two months, that's that's pretty, that's, that's, pretty right, fucking, that's pushing it's, it. It's, it smells like shit. Okay, okay. Okay. My hand would be sweaty coming out of there, and I just throw it in the bag. And when you take it out, it smells like disgusting. I have them. I would love for you to smell them. Still unwashed? Unwashed for years. I haven't used them in years. And you know what, dude? Okay. This is completely different, but... Pod Lord. There's this treasure uh -huh. that my dad has talked to me about in Mexico. Treasure? There's this treasure in Mexico okay, like in, a, a, like in a, a cave. Is it? But they don't know if it's there or not. Or they found it. It's 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 a myth, right? I love it. So here's the thing. This treasure has been there for so long, and it's it, it's in such depths of, of, of the mountain and shit like that, uh -huh. that if you go in there, it's actually toxic, you know? And opening up all those fumes, it's actually toxic itself as well. It's like opening up Pandora's box. You know what that is? No. Pandora's box... Um, it says to have all the diseases and like all the demons and monsters in the world inside of it. It's that, like a mythology type. That thing. was your gym bag. That was your <laughs> that, that was your soccer bag. Pandora's fucking bag. I'm getting a spam call, brother. Should I answer it? Let's answer it. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, my phone's broken too. Oh, hey, they ended it themselves. You know, they they knew what was coming. They knew what was coming. They did themselves a favor. Bro, that bag has been through some shit, brother. And that's the one with the pins all over it, huh? Yeah. Wow. Slowly but surely, those pins are just falling. I, dude, that thing used to be covered in all the pins from tournaments. I fucking... Oh, no. Nah. I want to go play soccer again. That's what, it's, it's one of the things that been, I've been wanting to do a lot. Summertime is coming up. The perfect time of the year is coming up to play soccer. Just fucking kick it. I don't even want to, like, play a game. I just want to just fucking, like, you go 40 feet that way and I'll go 40 feet the other way so we're 80 feet apart. And we just kick the ball to each other. Your leg will probably come out of place. I know, but I mean, like, leg fixed and all. I, I'm still scared to go to the doctor. It's just, it's just scary to me. I'm just scared. I have a fear. And I think this fear resides in me from being a young lad. A young lad on the skateboard. I cut my fucking foot open. Okay. And they fucking put some trainer doctor to stitch up my foot. And that shit hurted. And I think to this day, subconsciously, it bothers me. Well, I'm sure it does because I think I think every because I'm not afraid of pain. Uh -huh. I, I don't really like feel pain that much. It's more of a something there that just doesn't want me to go. Like it's stopping me from wanting to go. So it's the doctor's office or it's procedures. The office, and I wonder what it is. Well, because I mean, eh, every little thing that's happened within our life rewires our brain in some way, shape, some or form. Fucking way. You know, whether we notice it or not, yeah. it happens. I agree. And and I'm sure I'm sure that definitely did it for you. I just have this like one memory about it. Fucking cut my foot open, and I, so my dad had the quads on a wheelie, right? And the chain guard, really sharp because rocks and stuff hit it. Right. And I was trying to learn how to do a kickflip, so 
I did a kickflip right, right there in the driveway. First time ever. Landed it. When I was in kindergarten, maybe. Landed it right off the curb. Pew. And then uh, I was like, that was sick, dude. But I don't remember how I did it. So I would hold on to the thing since the quad was up. I was holding on the handlebars. And I would try to all in kickflip. Uh-huh. Well, I landed on the board wrong. No shoes on. I slipped. <laughs> foot got caught in it on the chain guard. Caught oh. it wide open. My whole foot had a scar on it. How big a gash are we talking here? Like like that big. But, like, it's like that big. Like, that big. Like, maybe four inches. Needed stitches? Need stitches. Wow. And then now the scar is, like, that big on my foot. I've only ever needed stitches once in my life. On your forehead? Well, no, actually. No, staples. Those are staples. But st- stitches from an actual cut, Wound? not yeah. a surgery, Uh huh. you know, uh-huh. once, ever. And that was just the one on my forearm here. Oh, that's right. You just reached in the Pandora's box. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's what happened. Fucking Pandora's box got me in my garage. Well... I remember my dad said, just calm down. Calm down. You're okay. So I was calm. And I remember clearly I was not crying for the pain. I was crying because I didn't want to go to the doctor and get stitches. So even back then, I didn't want to go to the doctor. So there's something about the doctor in my past before kindergarten, before that incident. It was probably when you were received in the hospital. I had pneumonia when I was born, when I was, when I was a young lad. Did you? Really? Yeah. I did. I don't know for how long I was in the hospital, but my dad said I was in there a while. Oh, so you were going through it. But there, sure. was, there was something telling me to not go. And I remember my dad was so, like, nonchalant about it. I remember he would take me to his friend's, like, shops and stuff, like their body shops and stuff. He's like, hey, look, he cut his foot open. <laughs> Just carrying me. <laughs> and that's Showing a, all his friends. That's a modern-day DM. Hey, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. Snapchat didn't work at the time. Yeah, for real. That, Snapchat. Was, that was his Snapchat. I remember Pull he up. would just drive me around, and then we got to the hospital, and then fucking fat-ass needle to, to give me some pain injection, or uh, pain medicine, basically, uh-huh. but with a needle. And she's like, oh, I'm a doctor in training, and oh, man, that hurt so bad. Hurt. Everything hurt about that. But, see, I feel like I feel like it's the initial injection that, that, that hurts the most. You know oh, yeah, I mean? totally. Because, well, after that, it's they're giving you the numb and stuff. Yeah. So... But putting that needle for the stitches, that hurt too. She totally didn't do it right. Everything she did was fucked up. You think you could have done a better job at it? Probably. I wasn't even a student. It doesn't even seem that hard, huh? No. Do you think you could give yourself stitches fucking Bro, I've seen like... Up? I've seen like uh, Mark Wahlberg on Lone Survivor do it. Why can't, why can't I do it? He got shot like 20 times and he stitched himself up. Trying to tell me I can't do it. I saw Dominic Shredder fucking <laughs> stitch himself up. What's up, good? What's up? Family, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic Toretto. Yeah, that's a uh, fucking Fast Furious guy. Yeah. God. So you know, he was always getting shot since, since yeah. that's a war movie. <laughs> well, that's what they've become. That franchise is insane now. Anywho, uh, remember that game? I was always I would always tell you about it. Ark, the yes, dinosaur game. Yes, yes, yes. Well, they're making a second one. It's coming out soon. Are the graphics any better? It's supposed to be fucking amazing. Well, this is for next-gen consoles. This is for new-gen consoles, right? For new-gen everything. Art came out, like, fucking 10 years ago or, uh-huh. or more. So the, everything should be perfect. But they made a show, and he's the star of the show. Dominic Toretto. Uh, but it's like a cartoon. It's, it's, it's an anime. That's what it is. It's an anime. Uh-huh. And it's all about... Do I have a booger? I feel like something, like... I'm just going to pick it. Fuck it. You got to get into Pandora's box. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was, like... It was, like, itching me in there. Fuck it. Um... He's the star of the show. It's all about family. <laughs> it's so stupid, dude. Was is it like a spinoff? He's ruining my fucking thing. He's, He's ruining, ruining your it. life. <laughs> so, uh, remember how I told you I went on like these deep dives of Star Wars, and I feel like I learned everything. I would watch hours of Star Wars. Uh huh. Well, I learned that there's stuff about games. So I watched like the Bloodborne one recently, like the lore about it, because there's actual stories. You're not just fighting monsters. And is that is that. Is that within the game, or are you talking about within outside the game. with the developers? Within, within the game. So, like, you always get, like, in Bloodborne, you always get these items, and this item means something. And then you find a monster, and it turns out that monster, like, the, the sword that you get from him, he was actually a hunter just like you, but he turned into that. So there's just a bunch of lore. Like, there's actual story behind the game, such as you fighting monsters. So Ark, the story is actually really cool. <coughs> Basically, me. they found this... This meteor came down and they started using it. The countries, all the countries started using the metal from it. But the metal actually caused like this 
disease on the planet and it was ruining the planet. So they created these arcs like a Noah's Ark. You know how he's like, hey, get on the boat, put mm-hmm. everyone in there. They made these arcs with artificial landscapes. So there's like seven arcs that they made. And what they would do is they would put these uh, humans from all across time in them to try to master that arc and that area. And once it's mastered, you go up and there's like a, a thing in the sky, like a tower. Once you go in there and like you beat like the, the master of it, then it's like, hey, you mastered this. Now we're going to send you back to Earth. That's what Ark is actually about. So they're all like little civilizations in a yeah, way. Yeah, but they're up in space and no one knows. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like the 100. Did you ever see that show? Yes, yeah, so you even... told me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's exactly like that. Earth is fucked. Now send everyone down and try to fix it. That's what Ark is. But the Ark itself, it's like its own... It's, an, it's its own entity. It's its own thing, just floating in the sky. And what it will do is it'll anchor into the Earth once you once you completed it. But there was a glitch. And basically, Arc 2 is them trying to finish the job to get back to Earth. And so with those, with those anchors, is that a direct connection to Earth already? Or do you need to complete all of them in order to... All of to, them. Because oh, Earth is fucked. So each one is just going to be like its own continent on Earth. Kind of like Pangea. It's like continents, basically. How do you think this world... How how different do you think it would be if we'd still be Pangea? Fucking terrible. You think so? So bad. You think so? So bad. I feel like I feel like. In what ways? In what I, ways? Instant, instantly, the first thing that came to my head was the Great Wall of China. Okay, but don't you think that? Do you know how big the Great Wall of China is? It's humongous. I just found Rex. this out recently it's from hu- a TikTok. It's humongous, Rex. Rex. Thirteen thousand miles long, a fucking wall. But don't you think that if 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 it was all one. That they wouldn't have ever. Did you even just hear what I said? Thirteen thousand miles of wall. The wall was built before Christ, before Jesus. Do you realize that? The Great Wall of China. Yes. Before Pangea. No, no. But I'm saying, <laughs> Jose, Kentucky was twenty two hundred miles away. Oh yes. And that was like, fuck. We got to drive twenty. This 20, is thirteen. This is thirteen thousand miles? miles before fucking chariots, bro. You just put it in a perspective. <laughs> it's fucking Holy massive. Holy fucking shit. Dude, it's massive. Instantly, I was like, holy shit, dude. It took us 32 hours to drive to Kentucky. How Imagine big- how long it took them to build it. What's the perimeter of China? How, lo- how long do you think it would take to drive the perimeter of China? I'm fucking mind blown. <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> when, did you, when did you learn this? Uh, I was going to talk about it last week when we had Ricky on, so I, I, I saved it. <laughs> I was almost going to talk about it, but I was like, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for Jose. But don't... Okay, so back daddy. to what I was saying. Don't you think if, if Pangea, because no. obviously it was all one, right? There's a reason. I'm not saying this is the reason Pangea split, but there's a reason that countries stay split and have borders. Right. Yes. Yes. Because of people like Genghis Khan. Oh... But I would feel like... People like Hitler. With... with, Like Saddam Hussein. With so much ocean dividing all these nations, I feel like if, if, it were, if it were closer together for some reason, I feel like it wouldn't be the way it is. Um, if it was as close as it is now, we would be under what is called one, one order. One rule. New world order. New world order. Population would be insane. Yes. It would be... I feel like it'd be extremely low. I feel like uh, we'd be enslaved to this to this day. You think so? Totally. Totally. But Pan- because... Pangea happened. Pangea happened before any of these elitist fucks started messing with our world. Yeah. So... But elitist fucks are going to come about no okay, matter so what type of what place. What do you know about earthquakes? I know that they shake, and I'm fucking scared of them. Basically, like the tectonic plates go under each other, oh, right? correct, yes. That's how mountains were formed. Okay? Now, Pangea won. And now, current world, Man. separado. Yes. Think about the shaking that shit did. Think about how much shaking there was. And think about how many millions of years it took to get there. Right, yes. Because eventually... You know, the same thing is going to happen. We're, it's not, we're not just here. It's it, We're constantly moving, but very slowly. You think there was a point in time? <laughs> so they moved very slowly, right? You think there was a point in time where 
These fools just had to hop a little stream. Oh, I'm in a new country. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's kind of how it is like here in some, States, in some yeah. countries. Yeah. Right? But uh, it's like, oh, hop over a little stream. But I think back then there wasn't any humans. Oh, there was actually. There was. In Pangaea? Yeah, that's why they say like the first human race came from the Africans. From Pangaea. That's the first race of human. The originators. Yes. I wonder what they felt. Did you ever watch the ancient apocalypse? No. I still recommend it to you all the time. You need to watch it. It puts things in perspective that's like insane. Like the Great Wall of China, I just did that to you. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. So so it gives you that type of feeling? Wow, might might just look into that. <laughs> if it yeah, gives like, you that, I'm in. So the reason it put it in perspective, right? The guy's like, I just learned the Great Wall of China is 13,000 miles long. Do you guys know how long that is? He was like, I can go from San Francisco to, to New York 10 times, and I still wouldn't have gone the full distance. And I was like, holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> I was like, that thing is massive. How fucking big is China? Okay, think about that. San the, Fran to New York? The, that's all America. Hey, the people that built that, job security, man. They were busy. <laughs> they were busy. Talk about job security. Man, yeah, exactly. Uh, how do we even get the Great Wall of China? Oh, we're talking about Ark and shit. Were those people Pangea. enslaved? The people that did the Great Wall of China? I don't know much about the history. On it? You don't hear... No, I don't think they were enslaved. Because they only built the wall because of Genghis Khan. So to protect their country, right? Think about the impact Genghis Khan had on the world. So you tell, realize that? Tell, tell, tell me a little bit more about he it. He literally had a carbon footprint. He removed it. He killed that many people. Like, there's Hitler, right? Right. And then there's Genghis Khan at the top. At the very, very fucking top. There was, like, a, there was like a YouTube video I watched, and it was, like, showing how many people, like, this person killed. Or, like, they, they basically said Hitler killed all of them, and he didn't, right? Uh-huh. Genghis Khan actually was going out and killing bitches. He so, was riding on a horse with this fucking hawk. Remember that hockey show me with the long oh, legs? Yeah. One of those? One of those just killing dudes. Millions, hundreds of millions of people. Just because. So Hitler was a rookie in reality. Rookie. Rookie numbers. Really? Genghis Khan at the top. Oh my god. And how, how big of a gap are we talking here? I think he's like 60% more. And he killed like 12 billion people. Or 12 million people. So you add 60% to that. It's like a... Can you give you a number right now? No number. A lot. That's it's all like, I know. It's, it's like 156 million people. Him and his army. There were that many people at that time? Oh, totally, brother. Insanity. Just going from, like, Russia, over here, over there. Just on a horse. Killing bitches. Killing bitches. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm it's savage. It what a savage. What kind of person does it take to do that? Getting us gone. People He's just doing it for, for fun? Yeah. He's just trying to find new ways to, uh, to, to, to kill? He's trying to innovate. Genghis Khan kill. Let's see. And how, okay. 40 million. Okay. 40 million. That's still a fuck ton. Oh, yeah. That's four times more than Hitler. That's including the Jews and the war. Let me think. 40 million. So. That's how old he is. No fucking pictures. A drawing. drawing. (laughs) A fucking drawing. So how many ops did this guy have? How much population did Genghis Khan impregnate? The number of women who impregnated by Genghis Khan is known to be an estimate to be in the hundreds or thousands. Research shows that 0.5% of all living males descend from him. 0.5% of, of all males. Of all living males? Of all living males come from Genghis Khan. 0.5% and with how many males there are? That's quite a bit. So like... He could be my dad. You think my dick is so small <laughs> because of Genghis Khan's Asian? You think you have Asian descendants from that? In my wiener. In your wiener? Yeah. <laughs> you know... <laughs> I think you're a pretty good driver, though. That's yeah, it, uh, yeah. You're actually a really good driver. Okay. Let me let me. Speaking about Instagram, learning new things. This is one of the things that I had to tell you. Uh, it was like an Orange County page. They posted like, "Oh, this taco stand got taken down on were, Instagram." On Instagram. Okay. And like, the cops and like, probably the FDA. The food, uh, food and Drug Administration were, like, taking all the food and throwing it away. And I was like, damn, that's fucked up. Fucked up. I was like, dude, those guys are working hard. At least let them keep it so they can eat it. Yeah, right? And they're throwing it away. And then I, I opened the comments and I scrolled down. And you always got to scroll past the first three because the first three are always an ad. Follow me. I post funny memes. Uh, I have naked stuff in my bio. <laughs> <laughs> you said it to a T. And then, 
And then it's the real comment. So like the fourth comment, it was like, yeah, everyone's hating on the people for doing this. But think about all the small business owners that aren't getting business because of them. And they work fucking hard to get that license and pay for that building. And I was like, oh, shit. I didn't think about that. Never thought about that. Very true. Very true. Very true. And you know, I'm not hating because you know I'm a Taco Stand guy. Yeah, yes, you are. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking advocate. supporter. Big I'm an advocate. advocate. But I was like, fuck, dude. Like, think about all these small businesses. They're, they're like Hispanic restaurants, right? Uh-huh. That they probably can make food and shit like that, too. That aren't getting business because there's a fucking taco stand on the corner. I'll tell you one thing right now. It's not the taco stand being on the corner that is t- not getting people in that okay. restaurant. Uh-huh. It's the quality of food. Because That's if, if, totally if, true. if food were better in that restaurant, they wouldn't go they, to the truck. I agree. So Totally agree. But I'm saying I see both sides. Yes, I see both sides as well. I don't think they should have thrown the food away. I think they should have said you can't do it here. Yeah. 100% agree. Can't do it here, brother. I, I, see the, I see the taco stand perspective, and I see the restaurant owner perspective. Because I'm looking at America. America. And they fucking worked hard to get their business. Even if it's shitty, they worked hard. And also, you worked hard to earn your dollars to spend them wherever you damn well please. And that taco stand, get, that taco stand is getting expensive, Doug. Low key. A little, low, little bit. A little bit. Low key. I'm trying to find the deals over there. Tacos are fucking two dollars per taco. Not worth it. Tacos are a hot thing. They're super hot. Insane. I just hot. didn't learn how to make it. I want a blackstone. But that's a thing, man. I think it's it's not just how you make it, it's who's making it. Yeah. I think like the sandwich theory. You got a little swag with it. it, it puts a little taste. It's not even that, it's the sandwich theory, bro. Yes. Males, tap in. Sandwich theory, not the just- sandwich theory. You make a sandwich. With the same ingredients. <laughs> he said males tap it. And you eat it and you're like, ah, oh, this sandwich is not that good. And then your mom makes it. The same ingredients. And it's like, fuck, this is the best sandwich I ever had. Why? What in our mentals does that shit? Tastes better when it's a female making it too, huh? <laughs> just totally. Just totally. Kidding. Get in the kitchen. Get in the kitchen. <laughs> Get to work. No, nah, my mom would be making some next ass sandwiches for sure. I bet you... Hey, put her sandwiches against my dad's. Jeez, he's getting blown out of the water. That's sorry, it. sorry, father. Sorry, dad. <laughs> You're just not making the cut in this fucking team. <laughs> okay, what's what's your favorite sandwich? Not like Jersey Mike or something. Like at home, grilled cheese. Solid choice. Grilled cheese. You are a grilled cheese man. I love a good grilled cheese. Gets me going. A good grilled cheese. I, oh uh, yes. I like an egg salad sandwich. Egg salad sandwich. Toasted bread. Mm. And how often do you have eggs egg salad Never. around? Never. Oh, so that's very few and far in between, huh? See, my mom loves making me these grilled cheeses. And I fucking love devouring them. So keep at it, mom. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. And then the other thing I wanted to, to, to talk about today, we're, we're, we're going way back. We're talking about pre-episode one. I wrote this list of notes. Of pod lore, everyone. We, I would have a notebook like this one here, and I'd write like seven things down on it, and I would try to bring it up naturally throughout the episodes. Right. And eventually, I said to hell with it because it didn't seem natural to me. And I know, Ethan, you loved it. You thought it was better. Sorry, brother. I don't like it. I still love you. The topic idea you're talking. The topic about. idea. Okay. 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 I didn't like that I was forcing myself to talk about... I was like, oh, fuck. Because in, in my head, I'd, you'd be talking. I'm like, fuck, I still got to talk about this. And I still got to talk ah, about that. Ah, okay. And it wasn't as much like now, like, I'll write something down to remember to tell you. These are like, oh, these are stories from my past. And I was just going through deleting hella notes that I don't need anymore. Oh, lordy. See. And I would just like to read off... Some that I don't look do that. We I checked off seventeen of them. There's a lot there. So let's 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 go over the list. Deep clean in the gallery. That's scary. Wow. How was this not the first one on the list? I didn't check off. Did I ever tell you that when my mom died, I went to school. When I finally went back to school a few weeks later, and I had all these pictures from the kids at the school. Yes. And that was depressing. I'm checking that one off the list. <laughs> that was fucking depressing, dude. Okay. Giving friends girl pr- uh, girlfriend plan B. Yes. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, these are great stories. I went ice skating. I cut my fucking friend's finger off. No, you never told me that one. Ice skating. He fell. I went to help him up. I stepped on his middle finger. Cut it <gasps> off. <gasps> cut it off. Hey, hey, that was clean? Perfect. Just... Yeah, it was ice skate. Holy I was lord. Like, I was like seven. Where, um, how, how big were you at that point? Either way, it's a lot of fucking pressure. A lot that of finger's pressure. coming out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was big. Let's see. I wasn't that big. Though. I was actually pretty skinny. When I, when at that stage. Seven. Pretty small, too. Yeah. Okay. When, believe his name, got roofied at a party. And I had to go pick his ass up. I don't think I, I don't think we got. Do you, do you remember that day? No, I don't. That day was everyone in our circle at the time. They would call me the fucking mom of the group. I, I was going everywhere picking everybody up, and they call me. Who needs help? Who needs help? I fucking get in the car. There's two of them helping him out, and we lift him in the car. And what had happened was, he's a very antisocial person at the time. So. Him being fucking retarded, he's actually a hero, and you'll find out soon. Instead of him going to the ice chest or something to grab a drink himself, he would see that, like, someone would set a drink down, and he would take it. Yeah, because he didn't want to, like, ask someone where the ice chest was because he was too scared. Oh, my God. So, turns out he would take their drinks. He took a roofie for somebody, for some fucking girl. So, he's a Hero. Hero. But anyways, he was just like stuck, just like, and I have a video of me just making fun of him. Well, whoever that piece of shit was that put that thing in the drink. Knocked off the list. You're a motherfucker. Okay, here we go. Oh, so I wrote all these before we started even episode one, so I could get all these, okay? What if Captain Hook was only going after Peter Pan, so Peter Pan didn't steal all the kids, but everyone saw it the other way around? Yeah. So what if Peter Pan was a pedophile? What if Peter Pan was a pedophile and Captain Hook was a real hero? Here? Exactly. Exactly. But you know what? All those all those kids are dead. <laughs> Literally, all those kids <laughs> and are Peter dead. Peter Pan's still alive. No, Peter Pan is just a. Wait, wasn't Peter Pan? Big man uh, in their imagination. Robin Williams. Uh, well, yes, actually, he's dead too. In the live action, he's dead. They're all dead now. Including. But Peter that's Pan. what I heard. What I heard, the theory I heard, was these kids had died, and Peter Pan was kind of uh, like an angel a in shepherd. a way, taking them ah, to a different place. I like that better than my pedophile story. <laughs> Next. Oh, this guy at work would think I was gay because I would like touch people on the thigh and stuff, and he really thought I was gay, and he started telling everyone, everyone that I was gay at work. You don't give gay vibes, though? I don't give gay vibes. I just do gay things. That's apparently, funny. I've gotten... I give gay vibes. You do apparently. give gay vibes. You know, like, sometimes I touch like that. And, like, so I did that to him one time, and he's, like, trollo, I guess, and he hated it. So he started telling me I was gay. Next. I'm too tough, I say. The Manthony party stories. I've never talked about them, and they're fucking staying with me. And they never will. They're fucking never getting now. <laughs> so subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the things I fucking hated the most as a child growing up like 10, 11, 12, 13 up to like about 16 okay. where I was mobbing everywhere walking and I would get fucking yelled at in the street I do remember that yes I fucking hated that shit getting yelled at and eventually I did it myself here's the thing you either live long enough <laughs> you either die hero or you live long enough to be the villain and that's what it was. You became the villain. And now the villain's checked off the list, brother. <laughs> Holy fuck, this is terrible. Oh my god, this is a great story. When I pretended I had Tourette's in middle school. Did I ever tell you about that? I uh, know. Did you have any inspiration from any uh, close people around you? Yes, I did, and you know him. <laughs> and I feel really bad. <laughs> Don't do the drums. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, brother. I yeah, love much you. love, much love. I was very immature back then, and you know that. And I think he listens. Um, Appreciate the support, by the way. Love you. Amazing drummer. Great. Amazing drummer. Very talented. Pablo, that's a head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I almost died. I almost fucking died. Okay. I'll so, swallow your tongue, boy. So we had a, like a surprise substitute teacher, and. I was like, huh, I'm going to be a fucking piece of shit middle schooler that I am. And I'm going to pretend I have Tourette's. So I just be in class and we'll be doing this and go, yeah. 
And I did it like maybe six times. And she's like, excuse me, can you stop yelling? And I was like, I have Tourette's. Like, that was so rude. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then everyone thought it was fucking hilarious. And then until I got to school the next day and I got called to the office. Because oh. <laughs> she wrote a report saying, how come you didn't tell me that a student had Tourette's? Like, you're, that, that's supposed to be written down, I guess. I didn't know. Oh, man, dude, I got in so much trouble. But how much trouble can I already get in? Because at that time, sorry, Father, I was a fucking piece of shit student. <laughs> I had like six Fs. Uh, I had Saturday school every weekend. There was nothing they can do. Might as well just push you to the limit. I had an after school class where I'd have to stay till five o'clock to do zeros. That was terrible. 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 I was a terrible student in middle school. I, I, I picked it up in high school. By the way, I just want to say something about the modern day education system. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. Terrible. I will leave it at that. We don't know nothing about nothing. 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 Obviously, we're on this fucking podcast and everyone talks shit on us all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tourette's. Us how to edit. Tourette's are off the list. Oh, I'll just let you read that one. Don't read it out loud. Because that's something that we swore we wouldn't talk about. This is some pod lore. <laughs> and it's getting checked off the list. <laughs> Maybe on my list, too. This one, I don't know why I wrote it down, but it's here. Not wanting to hang out with someone all the time. I felt like... I've, I felt like this way before. Not with you, per se. Uh-huh. Or not with him, per se. But... I don't feel like I have to hang out with everyone all the fucking time. I feel like I need some alone time myself. 100%. And I've learned that over the years. But at that time when I wrote this down, I hadn't learned that yet. I hadn't learned that I deserved that. And I, I think because because the way it was in school, it was always every day. Mm-hmm. 24-7, 365. And especially during that time, from fucking elementary school till high school, like all the way through high school, you guys were here. Every day. Yeah, see? So it's like... Every day. You kind of conditioned yourself to feel like you needed to do yeah. that. Yeah, shout out my father again. Shout out. Yeah. So... Opening the doors wide open. I don't do that anymore. I have alone time to myself, and even including my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Alone time is amazing. It's amazing. And you need it. 100%. You need to talk to yourself sometimes. When I smoked out a pen and I was tripping balls, you know about that. It's all hap- It's happened to everybody at least yep. once. Oh, there's that one. We're not reading that one either. Together. <laughs> Jointly. Terrible idea. Fucking terrible idea. <laughs> Off the list. You should get your license revoked, by the way. Tony Ferguson on pain. On pain? He loves pain. It's the only thing that's real. Pain. He said, people lie, things lie, but pain never fucking lies. And that's why he loves fighting. That's why he fucking loves it. Because nope. it makes him feel real. You know what else doesn't lie? Anal. Numbers. Men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. Numbers lie all the time. That's why there's tax fraud and all that stuff. No, those are the people. Oh, true. Yeah. The calculator, the calculator, Facts. the calculator Facts. gives you the real number. Shout out Tony Ferguson. Uh, Shout out Payne. One of my fucking favorite fighters of all time. Shout out Payne. Hey. Halloween contest. I lost to a bitch with a fucking, with a fucking broom that she took from work. I dressed up as Guy Fieri. I bleached my hair and I lost to a lady with a hat and a a yellow fucking broom. Their judging was clapping applause and she did it like 20 fucking times. Bullshit. That was That hundred fifty dollar gift card was mine. Ageism. They ageism. Her, ageism. Okay, this one's pretty good. Art is subjective. Art is 100% Very subjective. subjective. Cuz I used to feel like if you liked that, I had to like it. But it doesn't have to be that way. But this is how I used to feel. How long ago was this? This was pre-pod. Pre-pod. Wow, okay. So you have to think about it like this. I wrote all these 2021. Okay. Right? No. When did we take our trip? 2022? Yes. I wrote all these 2022 when we were talking about it. I feel like I'm a completely different Dylan from 2022. I feel like I've changed so much. See, and I, I feel the same exact way. I feel like I've changed from... Still in 2022 to 2024 is like so far different. You've I, grown. I feel like 2022, I feel like this is, I feel like we started this pod like seven years ago. But anyways, art is subjective and you don't have to like what everyone else likes. Like fuck Drake. Your music's trash. Ghost Rider. Get the fuck out of here. Rick Ross got your ass, boy. I, huh. Personally, I do like Drake. Ghost Rider or not. And I, he got the bops. It's just his voice bothers me. Passion from my away. My dad, my dad being right about my friends. 
I wasn't actually going to say that, but I did. He was right about all those motherfuckers. He said, everyone's trying to use you. All this shit. And I never believed him. And I told him, though. I did tell him. I was like, yeah, you were right. You were right. He never said that about you. At never. Least, not once. At least you at least and you owned up to the fact that he was correct. And he was you, correct. And you, you said it to him. My father was correct. They all wanted to fucking use me for whatever reason. And just got to remember, he always knew your name. The only friend I ever brought over that he still knows your name. He forgets everyone's name. Charlie. One time I dated this black chick in high school. Nice. Just ended terrible. Oh. That's terrible. That's it. English soccer crowds. The best soccer crowds in the world. Best. Just tell my boss that someone's idea was the stupidest fucking idea I ever heard and to not do it. And then we and him both laughed about it. About the, the person who had the bad idea. That's fucked up. <laughs> We're going to bleep the name. <laughs> We're going to bleep the name. There's a lot of bleepage this episode. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm thinking my dad was retarded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no. no. I, think, I think she has a slight hint of, the, of, the, of that, though. That's the thing. Dude, she thought my dad was retarded. And I was like, she was like, oh, wait, your dad can cook? Like, your dad can drive? And I was like, what? And she was like, I thought your dad was retarded. You, I mean, even people with Down <laughs> syndrome, there's a whole cooking show. And I was like, I was like, what? I was like, dude, my dad's not retarded. He has heart problems. There's a whole cooking show and everything. That, and that's why my dad calls her Einstein. Because she's fucking retarded. Literally retarded. When I shit myself at school, in elementary school. Been Did you there, ever know about that? Been there before. No, I didn't. I didn't. So this is when I was like prime athletic deal, like fast as fuck. And I was in the goal, right? And on Thursdays or Wednesdays, we would get off right after recess. So thank God. It was an early day. And we're playing, right? And we're fucking doing our thing. And then this guy, dude, he kicked the ball so hard. And I caught it like this. And I'm in like fifth grade. It made me shit myself. No way. I shit my pants. So what would you eat prior if you remember at all? No idea. But I remember it was runny. Because at this time I had really bad IBS. Now I can't shit at all. So I've grown again. I've grown again. But I shit myself and... There was like this fence, and everyone dug a hole out of it to get to get out of recess faster. And you're not supposed to go into really? the fence, yeah. So everyone just like slide down and then run down the hill. Some groundhog ass shit. So literally, I live one block away from the elementary school. So I just boom, and I ran home. I didn't say bye to nobody. I just ran because I shit myself that bad. Very reasonable, by the way. I would do the same thing. The same guy that was calling me gay, I got him very hurt at work. Wasn't my fault though. Totally mm. doing some on OSHA. He's in a scrap container. Oh, Sean approved. His arm is hanging in, holding him up, right? And there's this giant machine that he's cutting with a blowtorch inside of it. Because he just, instead of cutting it before and then throwing two pieces in. Yeah. He decided, I'm going to put it all in and let it hang out like this. Like, here's a container that's hanging out like that. So he's blowtorching it. And I go, hey, Oh, believe that. Hey, hey. Because someone kept calling him. And he wouldn't answer me. I go, yo. And right when he looks at me. The machine falls and boom. I thought he cut his arm off because he fell to the floor from like 10 feet high. And he's just sitting there. Oh, oh. Now, was this reported? And his, no. Cause, and if he did report me, I could have got his ass on camera. For one, on camera, he's right in front of the camera doing it. Two, shouldn't been doing that shit. No incident report though, huh? No. Nope. How hurt did he get? His whole arm was like fucking dark purple for like oh, weeks. Whoa. Wasn't broken though, but he did fuck with me though. He was like, oh, you fucker, you made me break my arm. And he had like uh, two fractures on whatever these fucking bones are, right? I was like, oh my god, dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. This isn't that. And it was like the next day at work, he came in. I was like, I think your arm was broken. He's like, oh no, those are from years ago. But his arm was bruised up. Seeing a guy de- decapitated at a young age. Rewiring. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> uh,. My aunt and uncle from Arizona, they used to take me and my brother all the time to Disneyland. Oh, dude, I was thinking to beheadings. What? <laughs> all the time to Disneyland, right? And I remember we were driving home one night. I mean, weekly they would take us. That was awesome. They had season tickets. Fucking, I wish they took me when I was older. Season tickets of the Mickey Mouse game. Let's Bro, go. Three, four, five, six. You're not appreciating that shit. No way. I would appreciate it now. 
I would. Oh, I'd love to go to Disneyland with you oh, every hell weekend. Oh yeah, I'd love it. Unappreciated. Well, maybe like two times. Not every weekend. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> maybe like two times. That's it. A couple times a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're driving back, right? And I remember I was like, "Oh, there's a shoe on the divider." We were in tr- dead traffic. Go, oh, huh, there's a shoe on the divider. We were thinking that, and we're sitting there. I was like, "Why is there a shoe right there? It's placed perfectly, like just there." Yes. And we're driving, and you just see this puddle of red, and we're driving around it, and then you just see a helmet. And it was fresh, no cones or nothing. A helmet with a head inside, just like fucking spitting blood. And I was like, "Oh my god, just saw that." Then the tire goes through it, and you hear. Basically, he went under a semi truck. Oh my god! On a motorcycle. He's trying to pull a Fast and Furious on him. Um, I'm not gonna read the last one. <laughs> that stays with me. That dies with us here. You will read it. This one though, uh, remember there's that little midget guy that I used to work with, the older Mexican dude. Yes. So I always would pick his brain on like, hey, what song is this? Like, what are they saying? I would, I'd love to learn what the songs mean. That's why. That's kind of kind of picked up on stuff. Right, right, right. And uh, he's reading a book one day. I was like, hey, man, what are you reading this? I'm like, what is that? I'm like, that book looks good. Like, you've been reading it a lot. I think I told you. Yeah. It was about, like, an 80-year-old man wanting to fuck a child because he wanted to feel what it was like to take someone's virginity and that he would feel love to take a 12-year-old's virginity. That's what the book was about. And he's like, oh, it's a love story. You wouldn't understand. I'm like, dude, that's fucking pedophilia, bro. Yeah. You're fucking weird. And I just, like, would shame him every day until he started, until he stopped bringing the book around. Because every time I would see it, I'd be like, bro, you, that's, ped- that's pedophilia. That is weird. It's a child love story with an old man. And it's a true story, apparently. I don't remember the name. But he's like, oh, it's a love story. It's so good. And then uh, this one's just for us. No, fuck it. When I first started working there, <laughs> there'd be a parking lot. Like, we're the, we're the, I'm not going to say it, but there'd be a parking lot, right? No one was ever there. And I would get to work so early, like how Hoser does, for no reason at all. And I just beat my meat. I didn't have anything better to do. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, because I can't say that I'm not guilty. And that is officially everything off the podcast topics list. It's officially done, and I can fucking delete it. Delete it all now. Goodbye. And I, and I have one, too, you know? It's gone but forever. There's no way I'm going into death on that. But there is something that I want to bring up to you, and it's crazy that you brought up that dude's name. The one that we're going to bleep. Oh, okay. Right. Because, <laughs> and this is an incident on Instagram okay. that I wanted to bring up to you. Same so, name? Same name. Wow. So what happened was, this guy, uh, he's a colleague of mine. Okay. And um, he has since moved to a different company now. But in the time that I did work with him, I we did exchange numbers social media right mm-hmm. and so now now that I haven't talked to him in forever all this stuff and I'm seeing he's starting to post more on his story but one thing that he posted on his story and it really caught me off guard it was it was a little it was oh what's going on here so he posted a picture of his of his wife I know he's married he's got kids right he posted a picture of his wife it's not necessarily a thirst trap but She's definitely posing. She's definitely, like... Got her titties out. She's she's popping it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, what I wanted to ask you, what does he expect from his followers from him posting that? I do post my girl sometimes, but I don't post stuff like that. Okay, but the thing is, these are individual pictures of her. Only her. Not him at all. Just her, like, selfies that she took. I think he's trying to brag. Is she really hot? She's good looking. She's totally good looking. Do so you think he's just trying to brag to everyone? So, I, I'm not sure. See, that's the thing. I don't know him that well to... Because for me, usually when I post her, it's just me and her together doing some stupid uh-huh. shit. And I like it. Right. And it's kind of me showing appreciation. Yes. But him posting thirst traps... They're not, and like I said, they're not necessarily thirst traps, you know, because she's not in like lingerie or nothing. Mm-hmm. But she's definitely, uh, I mean, she's catching some eyes. There's, there's two scenarios going in my head right now. Two, yeah. He loves her, right? And he wants everyone to know that he loves her and that she's fucking hot. Uh huh. And I've never seen her, and I couldn't tell you. But when you look at it, you just go, yeah, she's kind of hot. 
Yeah? Yeah, totally. Okay. So, I think he might be trying to brag. Okay. I think he's like trying to show off his girl like, yeah, I got that. Okay, that's, so... That's mine. What I was thinking, what if, say, for example, someone were to slide up and do the hard eyes emojis or do oh. the like? Yeah, that C? Because obviously, those options are there on Instagram. So, what, what, what's going to come of it if that comes up, you know? That's something for him to say. And it can come up. And it can very well be somebody that he knows. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but... It... It's, it has to be somebody he knows, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying that that's something that I wanted to do, uh-huh. but that's just something that I thought of. Like, what if what that if someone happened? did that? What if I were to do that? Now here's the other scenario in my head. She goes, "You don't trust me enough. Like, why'd you trust me? Why'd you do that?" Uh-huh. It's like, okay, fine, give me some photos, and she sends him photos, and then they're fighting about it. She's like, "Well, now you only post me because I asked you to." Uh huh. You know. And I think that might be the... Like, honestly, I hope it's scenario one and he's just fucking happy and he's like, I'm banging in my fucking wife and she's sexy <laughs> and I want you all to know about it. Some narcissistic shit. Yeah, yeah, I hope it's that as well. But it just kind of caught me off guard. You know what I mean? It was, uh-huh. it, it was something that I, I really, I really did want to bring up and I was like, it, it, it was a little funky, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's into some cook shit. Like, on, on, like no diddy. <laughs> and if he is, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he would have... Found it already. Found it already. You know? Fuck, that no duty thing just went straight to my head. What was I going to say? Adam 22. Yeah. He loves it. See, but he waited so long to do that. I don't know. Because I'm I'm sure he knew he could have been making the bag since day one, right? But he's Doing already that? been making the bag. It wasn't about the bag. Yes, it wasn't about the bag. You're right. I don't know. My mind just faded away after that. We were, we, were, we were on to something good there. Man. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. Look how many just random... Um, don't include the podcast topics notes. We're not including that because that's, of course, going to be random conversations. Just look at like, how many random fucking things we talk about per episode. And it's just like, boom, 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 boom. Pangea. Shit Wall. yourself on the playground. <laughs> Great Wall of China. And genocide. And somebody commented uh, <laughs> the other day on TikTok and I didn't know what to say he said what the fuck even is this podcast about and I just replied exactly <laughs> that's a great reply I just replied it's kind of like YMH two bears one cave esque because they kind of just talk about random shit too except the only difference is they're rich and famous <laughs> <laughs> these men are professional comedians and they get paid to do what they do <laughs> totally. That's the only difference. Hey, one day we'll get a sponsorship. You know? One day. But they're bros as well. But they're bros. And they're funny. Yeah. They're funny And bros. they just talk about random shit. And it's... That's like the best... That's my best... Uh, description. Description. Like, if you guys like us, and... Like with Oops, right? I know that you were a diehard. You listened to every fucking episode. They fell off for me, personally, and totally... Hard. Hard. I still like them though. I, I, I still follow uh, Ryan as polite, Francis, and Julio. I still like them individually. Don't listen to them anymore. Sorry. Wow. That's on me. But like when they were into something, I was like, oh shit, I'm going to look it up. I'm kind of into it too. So I feel like if people are into us, that's why, you know, I like talking about hardcore. If they like us, they're going to fucking look at that shit too. Yeah, you think they do? I hope they do. That's, that's my hope. How many people you think while watching this episode? earlier looked up Ancient Apocalypse from the mind blowing that you gave me earlier can you guys please fucking search up Ancient Apocalypse I'd love it (laughs) or how many people do you think their minds were just as blown as mine when you gave that scenario of the Great Wall of China I know but I'm saying like so you're saying they take a common interest in the stuff that we talk about I feel like that's that that could happen I would hope so that'd be be awesome I would hope so too yeah I was thinking about that the other day you know, it's like, this was a long time ago, guys. This is more pod lore. But Jose was like, yeah, dude, we're talking about the gym too much. Like, this, this, and that. And I told you, I was like, yeah, that's what we fucking like right now. That's what we're fucking totally into right now. And if they don't like that, then fuck them. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And it's like, right now, we're into hardcore. So we talk about it a lot. And, and I feel like if they're still listening, 
They like it too, to an extent. You know what? You're absolutely right. Or at least put up with it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember I remember I was in the garage, I helped my dad with something a while ago and I had a I was helping him change uh his some the air cooler in the inside the engine and I had uh, just hardcore on and it was on for like two hours and he was like can you turn the metal off now I'm done <laughs> <laughs> so he put up with it for two hours it'd be like that sometimes you know but it's yeah. kind of like uh, like Kill Tony for example a big fan I yeah. love that show uh-huh. but I mean everybody knew that the first 12 minutes you could skip I'm sorry not the first 12 minutes the first um, the, the ads I watch all the ads always. Nope, I skip them always. So he nah, got I he, skip them always. he got real smart on us. He threw them in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you skip like twelve minutes. Like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Here's I, all the ads. Yeah, I'm already into like freaking third set of the day. Yeah. See, but like, like, shout out Spotify and Joe Rogan. Are you listen to Joe Rogan? Because you know, like, like on YMH and Two Bears, the ads are in the episode. In the real video so, itself. Like, you skip forward and you miss some seconds and it's like fuck dude now I gotta skip back 15 seconds and hear like 10 seconds of this bitch talk about an ad <laughs> oh my but god but with Joe Rogan it's an ad segment and you skip and it just goes right back it just flows right in and you don't miss a second but that's that's cause he's the he's a the staple goat. piece he's the goat he is the goat you know? he was like one of the first podcast people the first real OGs shout out Brian Redman the, him too he helped Joe set that shit up that not I mean he's really like the genius behind it all. He's you the, know? he's the, what's his fucking name, the Jewish guy in YMH. He's him. What's his name? Nadav. Nadav. He's the Nadav of all podcasts. No, 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 no. I think, I think we're kind of taking Credit away, away from Red Band totally by saying agree. that. He's just as creepy though, <laughs> if not more. <laughs> he's awesome, dude. I love him. He's, he's hilarious. Funny. Yeah, he's he's funny. hilarious. You know, and the fact that the fact that they make him out to be this awkward, creepy guy, it makes him even funnier, dude. I think he's fucking hilarious. And uh, see, I always want to do the sound cue thing. I have the thing over there to do it. They seem to do it every the fart every episode. Or like, like uh, we say to this day. Every time we say it, I just press the button. To this day. To this day. Well, we kind of have that automatically within our heads. In our heads, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We're our own sound cue. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I went onto that tangent after, uh, you know, the guy was bragging about his wife. I just feel like they like the shit that we like. That's why they're here. You know? That's what we're about. Yeah, that's crazy. I never thought about that. We're about us. That's what I'm trying to explain to people, like, what we are. What the fuck this podcast is. We are us. But you know what I was thinking? I think our intro says it all. What the fuck? What the fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Yeah. We don't even know. We don't know. So, why are you asking us? Just fucking watch the episode. It's... <laughs> the best way I can explain it is it's just, like... We kind of talk like this anyways, like, when we're not recording. Do we we just to, even have a mic just all the time. Do we have to preface the episode? Don't think so. What do you mean? Like, we don't, we don't got to say, oh, this is our episode. This is what oh, we're about. Yeah. See, because we're not a niche. We're, we don't have a niche. We're, we are a niche. Our niche is, us. is life. Yeah. That's our niche. It's like, hey, I saw something fun on fucking Twitter today, and we fucking talk about it. It's just us. We're just talking about random shit, and I love the chaos. I think it's fucking hilarious. I don't think an episode has to be about a certain topic unless we have a guest on. Then the right, topic right, is right. them, and I right. love... I love having guests on. Agreed, agreed. We need more guests. I'm bringing everybody on. Everybody. I'm totally down. Totally down. Bro, everyone has stories. Tap in. Tap in. Don't be an episode, tap in. Shoot. Huh? Biggest fans, tap in. You know who you are. If you're listening, you know who you are. You know exactly who the fuck you are. And how long have we been recording, bro? We've been here. Hey, it's even over an hour, dude. It's even over an hour. I see. Wow. And and all the random shit that we talk about. Someone just stole my fucking car. Did you hear that? And just drove away with it. They're going to Wendy's. I don't know, but I'm glad I saw the pod topics and just knocked them out all in one. I felt like that was just bam, 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 bam. I have a similar list to that. I think we need to get into that next episode. Next episode, I will remind you. No, you will remind yourself when you're editing this episode. But I don't think. Don't Next think, episode, special fucking guest, baby. I don't think it's that in depth. Might do a quick little note. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you you got got yours are really like. Yeah. I think I have quite a bit. 
so literally when I was doing the notes, right, I was just sitting there and I was just thinking, I was like, damn, what are some funny things that have happened recently in my life or even in the past that I think would be funny on the podcast? Did you add any of those recently within the last maybe? Brother, brother, I wrote this list before episode one and I never added it and I just kept, uh, I, I put boxes so every time you ch- check it off, it disappears. So that list was it. Okay, so the one that I have, it's not from episode one, but it's from the beginning stages. And every time you would just add to it. Every time I would just add to it. Oh, I yeah. want to see. Ooh, what were we into <laughs> back then? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, but like I was saying, with that list, I felt like it held us back from being us. It wasn't us. It was just stories, stupid fucking stories. This is us. This is us now. This is real life us. This is not past us. This is not stories. There, there, there are stories, but they're present stories. So from the now, three words to describe this. Daddy chill. Daddy, daddy chill. I don't know. Three words to describe us? No. Just if you had to pick three words to completely give somebody... What, does it have to all work together? Or can it be these three separate words? It could be three separate words, but give them a sense of what it is that we talk about. Of what we talk about or how we are on of the what show? what we talk about. Of what this show entails. Life. Funny. Idiotic. I'm going 100% on the idiotic. I think we're big idiots. Mm-hmm. That's okay. It's us. That's us. I like us. I love us. I like us. It's fucking great. People like us. Someone likes us. Do we lost eight followers on Instagram this week? I don't know what the fuck happened. It'd be like that. They don't like us. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, this has been Daddy's Engine, everybody. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BigDeal2Gs. You know what? I'm done saying that shit. Episode 108. It's been beautiful. Don't fucking follow me. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> because I've been thinking about this just today. Someone followed me, and it's like a real account. No mutual followers. And I'm like, did this guy just happen to see an episode and just say... Huh, I will follow him. He's funny. That's, but that's pretty cool, though, don't you think? I'm not a fucking public account. I'm not a comedian or nothing. I, I would say it because, like, that's what Julio would do. What would Julio do? That's what he would do. But I'm not Julio. Follow Daddy's Dungeon yes. Pod. That's it. All right? We're out. I thought about it. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Yeah, because, like, I'll get another request. It's like, oh, this is actually a real page. It has posts, and it's, like, hundreds of followers, but they're private. And I'm like, eh, fuck them. I don't know you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>